triple champion Kibayo clocked a time of 30 minutes 24.3 seconds to qualify for the men Def Olympics Games to be, held, to be held in Turkey later in the year. In the second place was Peter Toroitic from Turkana County with a time of 30 minutes 46.2 seconds to book a place to represent the country in the international games. Daniel Kiptum from Wasangishu as well closed the top three qualifiers in the A standard with time of 31 minutes 16.1 seconds. In the ladies category, 10,000 um, meters race, the ever fit just a commercial recorded a B standard qualifying time of 43 minutes 34.3 seconds to book a place in the team that will represent Kenya in the Deaf Olympic Games in Turkey. Now, when the likes of Kipchoge Keino, John Gogi, and Tegla Lorupe were making a mark on the international athletic scene, one family was quietly building a different dynasty. The, Kar the Karims, as they are commonly known, have been an integral part in the country's sporting history. And now uh, all their sporting highlights spanning over five decades can all be found in one book, The Karims, A Sporting Dynasty. Lin Washira has the details. Unsung Heroes perfectly describes the Karim family, a family whose contribution to Kenya's sporting history is immense, but their sporting prowess is only known to a few, probably due to the fact that they chose the less traveled route in sports, investing their lives in tennis and cricket, which was once Kenya's premier team sport. Yusuf Karim, a prolific batsman, retired from cricket in the 60s and concentrated with tennis, dominating the courts until the 70s. Determined to remain in sports, he encouraged his children to take up sports. Asif Karim became the most successful and was lucky to play cricket when Kenya was at its best. My grandfather was also involved in cricket uh, before he came to, uh, to Kenya in 1926. Of course, it was social cricket, so he encouraged uh, his children, uh, the, all the five brothers were very much so encouraged uh, to continue sports. But my father took it to a new level. He was, he was, I think, eating, living, breathing uh, sports. And now two of Asif remains a cricket icon. He captained Kenya to the 1999 World Cup before retiring and then coming back from retirement to fill up a void in the team at the 2003 World Cup where he was man of the match in Kenya's semi-final match against Australia at an advanced age of 40. His son is currently playing for the Kenyan team. I think there are many families who may even have done better than what the Kareems have done. And I, as I keep on repeating, that the government needs to take this, uh, the sports with the seriousness it deserves. As I strongly believe that if we have a ministry of sports on its own, with a very competent cabinet secretary and good budget, I think we can take sports to a much higher level than what we are. The Karims, a book launched at a function attended by sporting greats across various disciplines, tells a story rarely told. He brings to our tables an amazing tale of family family's journey nearly a century ago, and how that has come to have such a lasting imprint of our sporting heritage. This, this in itself is profound, and I salute I salute you, my, my brother. He proved a lot of people wrong by that magnificent spell that we've just seen on the tail here against Australia. I think that's one of the best uh, bowling spells ever in the World Cup. Well, one Kenyan sporting family with sports success spanning over decades, but one family whose contribution to the country has barely been told. All that can now be found in this book that is just slightly over 350 pages. Lynn Washira, KTN News. Now, four teams from Kenya will battle it out with four Tanzanian teams in the inaugural Sport Peso Super Cup tournament, scheduled to take place from the 5th of June in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. KPL champions Tusk FC, 15 time champions Gor Mahia, their arch rivals FC Leopards, and National Super League side Nakuru All Stars will represent Kenya. While recently crowned Tanzanian Premier League champions Yanga, Simba FC, Singida United, and Jangombe will fly the Tanzanian flag. So Pesa realized the need to bring back the glory days of Kenyan and Tanzanian football by launching the Sport Pesa Super Cup to the football-loving countries. The two nations share a passion for football and have no doubt that the tournament, which will be played at Uhuru Stadium in Dar es Salaam from the 5th to the 11th of June, 
will be a memorable event. To thank the Sport Pesa for seeing it fit to promote regional football. I think this is yet another milestone by Sport Pesa, something that needs uh, to be emulated. It is our belief as FKF that the decision by Sport Pesa to go global 